Good evening, my name is Zaje. I am going to walk you through um, looking for the budget on the Chichester School District website. And I'm also gonna compare it to the budget from Wallingford Swarthmore School District because it is uh, a little similar. And I just wanna compare and contrast this is for the parents who may not have been able to go to the school board meeting. This is for the residents who aren't able to go because they don't even know that it's happening. They might not have children in the school district. And these are concerns that were voiced. And I think this is the best way to try and display with an explanation of what's going on. So what you do is you go to Chichester's school district website, it's chichestersd.org. And I prefer to go on a desktop or laptop like this because it's easier. So you go to the search bar at the top right and we're just gonna type budget and search. And so this first one right here, PDE 2028 budgets, that is the one that you're actually gonna click. I don't know why the link says that, um, whatever. But you go all the way down. The last one is the 2023-2024 proposed. This is the 2023-2024 final budget. So we're going to click the final budget. That's what they just um, went ahead and approved last night. So we have that one open. I'm going to drag this down here. And then we're going to go to the Wallingford School District website. And we're going to do the same thing in their search bar and search. So the way theirs pops up is like a Google search. It still um, shows you the Wallingford um, search results. If you make sure that the green link says wssd.org like this one. So I'm gonna click this first one, business office slash budget information and reports. Here, budget information and reports is open and their proposed budget is here. They have not uploaded their final approved budget, but we're just gonna use this as a comparison. WSSD.org is here. And then we have the final budget from Chichester School District that you see has been signed off on by our administrators and board. So I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of things that I saw that stood out to me. If you would like to go through the entire, I think it's like 20 some page um, budget, you are very welcome to. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things. So this is the first page that shows items in amounts of non-spendable, restricted, committed, assigned, and unassigned fund balances. This is where the money is coming in. These are, are the local, these are the financing sources coming in from the state, local, the previous fund balances, things like that. Everything is totaled up down here where it says $104,165,801. This is Wallingford Swarthmore School District's budget amount for their 2023-2024 school year. If you go to Chichester's, it is the same thing. Same items listed in the same order. And Chichester's is $98,612,489. So if we're gonna round about, let's give it about a $5 million difference between Wallingford Swarthmore and Chichester. So coming back to Wallingford, I'm gonna go down to instruction. Again, these are more numbers. Um, these are showing the revenue from local sources and state sources. You see Wallingford Swarthmore School District gets 19 million from the state. Chichester gets $30 million from the state. In contrast, that Chichester gets 55 million from their local taxes, whereas Wallingford gets more because their residents pay more in taxes, $74 million. So I'm going down to where it says instruction and that's the costs of the programs for elementary, middle and high school 
primary or it says elementary and secondary. So again, this is more numbers just based on what they are spending. Total estimated expenditures, 95 million from Wallingford. Total estimated expenditures, 95 million from Chichester. Okay, so we're gonna keep scrolling and I wanna get to this one, which is regular programs, elementary, secondary for Wallingford and Chichester. Regular programs in Wallingford, this is Wallingford's budget here. Total 32 million. Chichester's to totals 34. So they pay a little bit more in their regular programs, okay? The special programs from Wallingford, 13 million as shown here. Special programs in Chichester, 18 million, $5 million difference, okay? Vocational education in Wallingford is 310,000, as you can see here. Vocational education in Chichester is 928,000. So it's about three times as much. Okay. Other instructional programs, elementary, secondary in Wallingford, Swarthmore is $87,500. In Chichester, it's $1.5 million. That's a huge jump. So total instruction for Chichester is 55 million, whereas total instruction for Wallingford is 46 million. Okay, so we go down. I want to go down to support services for students in Wallingford. They spend $12 million in support services for their students in Wallingford Swarthmore School District. In contrast, Chichester spends $4 million for support services for students. That is one third of the total that Wallingford is spending to support their students. And this is including, as you can see, salary, employee benefits, the technical services, everything that's included. You go down instructional staff for those support services is 4 million. Our instructional staff is 1, 1 million. The administration is getting $4 million in Chichester. The administration is getting $6 million in Wallingford. What this is showing me is for a third of the support, we are paying two thirds of the amount for the administration. Just to explain it a little bit further, for the total amount that Wallingford Swarthmore is paying, we are paying 30%. We are getting 30% of the support, but we're paying 60% to administrate that support. These are questions that are valid and is something that needs to be discussed at more of the school board meetings with the community. I want to go down to 2,700 student transportation services. Wallingford Swarthmore spends $4 million. So it looks like we're spending about the same amount as Wallingford, but as far as I know, our buses are not as nice. We do not have as much available to us. There's always a shortage and there's always issues with the transportation. Wallingford Swarthmore, by contrast, we lived out there. We never had a problem with buses running late. We never had a problem with bullying on the buses. The, same, the issues that we're having out here, we didn't see out there and they are spending the same amount of money. I wanted to get down to 5,100 debt service, other expenditures and financing uses. Now, I don't know what Wallingford Swarthmore is spending this money on. It just says other objects and other uses of funds to total $5,837,842. When you go to Chichester's 5,100, their total debt service, other expenditures and financing uses total $9,784,627. This is $4 million difference. And there's nothing to say what it is being spent on. Other objects, 5 million, that is two, three times as much as Wallingford. Other uses of funds, 4.6 is about the same as Wallingford's. Where, what are these other objects that we need to spend $4 million more on? And then again, I wanted to come to this last page, 
page 26, Wallingford and Chichester. Non-spendable fund balance in Wallingford, 185, ours is 100,000. That means there's a fund that we are not spending for whatever reason, maybe it's in a savings account and they need a minimum or it's in an investment and they need a minimum, I'm not sure. Restricted fund balance, empty, empty. Committed fund balance on Wallingford, committed fund, 2.5 million. We do not have a committed fund. We don't have a fund that is committed to anything that we can go to in order to pull from a reserve. Unassigned fund balance, $5,978,677 for unassigned funds that can be used for other things during the year. Ours is nowhere near that. Assigned fund balance is full of money, but Wallingford doesn't have one of those. I'm not sure what that may or may not be. Budgetary reserve for Wallingford, 400,000. We don't have one. There's a lot of differences going on between the Wallingford Swarthmore School District and the Chichester School District. There's a lot of differences going on with other school districts versus ours. This is for informational purposes. Please go on the website and find these links yourself so that you are able to look, study it, read it. You're able to look at it. You're able to see it. You're able to compare it yourself because this is information that the general public needs to know. These are where our tax dollars are going and it is our right to know what is going on.